No! It was summer. It was afternoon. It was a drowsy time. Hugo was asleep. But not for very long. All of a sudden, he was run over. Hugo's foot was run over by a speeding baby carriage. The driver fell down and started to cry. The driver was a very young gentleman named Nubbet Nibble. He was a mouse. His mother, named Mrs. Nibble, was also a mouse. <laughs> Are you hurt? Pogo asked the youth. No, he replied. Don't mind him, Pogo, said Mrs. Nibble. He talks like that all the time. Can't you say anything but no? asked Pogo. No, said Nubbet. Do you like the word no? No. But then I ask him if he wants breakfast. He says no. And then he eats it anyway. What happens then? I ask him if he likes it, and he says no. Nubbit, you should run away to a land with a language of no. No, replied Nubbit, and he ran away into the forest. Stop him, cried Mrs. Nibble. He'll be back, Mrs. Nibble, said Pogo. Deep in the forest, Nubbit saw a gate. It was heavy, and it spelled a word, no. Suddenly, Nubbit could say something besides no. Is that a gate, he asked, a nearby bird? No, said the nearby bird. May I go in, asked Nubbit. No, replied the nearby bird. So Nubbit went in. Inside was a thicket of signposts. Can I get anywhere from here? Nubbit asked a nearby rhinoceros. No, replied the nearby rhinoceros. At a little distance was a forest of huge letters. Are you the letter A? No. Are you a B? No. Does that spell yes? No. That's alphabet soup, exclaimed Nubbit, and I'm hungry. Can I have some? he asked a nearby hippopotamus. No, said the nearby hippopotamus. No, no, what's it all about? I hate no. Can't anyone explain all the no? No, said a nearby elephant, pointing. Nubbit ran to where the nearby antelope pointed. A big book was there. With a struggle, Nubbit opened the book. It said, No! No, no, no! Right, Nubbit weeping large sized tears. Is that all anyone can say? No, said a nearby mongoose. You're looking at it the wrong way, came Pogo's voice. You've got to turn the book upside down or else walk around here. It says on, exclaimed Nubbit. Right, said Pogo, on to new words. No. Can you think of a new word, Nubbit? No. Anything else? No. Nothing, huh? You come into supper, Nubbit? Called Mrs. Nubbit. Yes, that's a good word. Yes, yes, yes. Nubbit will probably use a lot of new words from now on, said a nearby dinosaur. No doesn't always mean no, said Pogo, and he sang. It's all very nice to say that a mice can say no in the snow or a blow or the growing season. It's all very nice to know many mice early know to say no through their nose, goodness knows, just teasing. Yes, a simple yes is a kind of a blessing, not of a maybe. It's the kind of yes that is not a guess, it's laugh of a lullaby, baby. A mouse is a mess who constantly says Single no, double no, triple no, quadruple no, for no reason. A simple yes is a kind of a blessing, not all maybe. It's the kind of a yes that is not a guess, it's the laugh of a lullaby, baby.